Hello, welcome back, and this is Let's Play Rystar Part 3. Uh, we're getting into the second area of Scorch here, and things start to get a little bit more difficult. Ah, oh, man. Wow, okay. Uh, I'll just take two hits there, that's fine. I uh, hope I can finish this. Now, these guys are a pain in the ass, because you can't really hit them at all. Uh, Alright, we're going to use the little spinner here. There we are. Bonus game. Yeah, so today's been a really annoying day so far. Not just because it's like Monday or anything, but uh, well, that's really long, isn't it? But uh, so we've been having internet troubles here lately. Like our uh, connection's been dropping in and out, and our phone has been like really staticky. So we called tech support the other day, and they said that the reason for that is that. Um, there's like data bleeding over from our DSL into our phone line and vice versa. So it's causing our internet to be unstable and all that. So like long story short, I checked all the wires, all the jacks and everything multiple times. But uh, so they sent a guy over here to come fix it. And what they were going to do was just put a little filter in the box on the outside. Uh, but the guy like literally just would not do it. He tried to come in the house and blame everything on like the wiring and stuff like my wiring job and all that so I just told him no thanks and uh, I'm just gonna be switching internet providers I guess so yeah that's it's been quite an experience today anyway uh, we're oh god you gotta watch out for those blue flames they're really hard to see like you don't really notice them oh it's cheap oh man I can't even do that now wow I'm sucking this up there we go all right uh, you can Oh man, I always hate this one. I can never hit him. Wait for the fire. It seems like you should be able to just, you know, hit him while he's down like this. Just from the bottom, but if you try... Okay, there it goes. By half the time, you'll just accidentally grab onto the fire and take damage, and it's really annoying. Yeah, you just walk under that guy. Nope. And then you have to... There's a little orb bot up here that's gonna... Yeah. And you have to let him do that because he'll open up the exit over here. And we're at the end of the stage, all right. As you can tell, it's starting to get a little bit more difficult. Let's try that again. There we are. That's about as good as I could get it. Here we are, Th this is uh, one of my favorite bosses. And uh, it's, it's really fun. The only annoying part is he's back there in the background throwing this these rocks at you, and they're nearly impossible to avoid. But they give you that full health refill there, which is nice. Alright, and he's gonna come up out of the ground here. He can't hit him yet. And you just hit him whenever he's about to attack you. If you try to hit him before, he'll just, like, block your attack. And sometimes he'll stand up here. And if you're good enough, you can grab onto these things. And then hit him while he's up there, but I just missed completely, so... I used to be able to do that like every single time, but I'm kind of out of practice. There we go, just like that. And then he's going to break off the floor and we'll get into one of these classic falling down stages. And this is so annoying because the way he goes is probably, I think it's random each time. So you really can't tell which way he's going to go. And it, it's so hard to do. You just really got to get lucky. And then he's going to go back to the first stage again. It's really easy when he lands on the ground. It's pathetically easy, actually. I love doing trying to grab onto that at the beginning, too. I think that's cool. Alright, there we are. And we're going to have one more of these, and then he's going to be uh, toast. So, that's good. Ugh, oh, man, it's so hard to grab. There we are. Almost got hit there, but... And little pieces up him fall as his armors fall down. I get to see the big... This this is so funny. I think it's so cute. He shoots little shockwaves at you that don't damage you at all. It's awesome. You just hit him one more time. And he's like, oh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. I promise. Either that or he's like being like, thank you. Thank you for saving me or something. I don't know which one it is. I prefer to think it's the first one because I'm making them all beg for my mercy because I'm beating him up so much. And now we are done with Planet Scorch. 
Man, th this next stage coming up here is a real pain in the ass. You've got to... Well, you'll see whenever we get there. Excellent. Not quite as good as I've been doing, but whatever. I don't care about score really at all. Uh, you can't tell what that planet is just by looking at it. You're like, swamp? Poisonous planet? Nope. It's actually the music planet, believe it or not. It's a planet sonata. And the thing that's really annoying about this is you got these little metronomes here that you got to carry to little birds that are waiting for them. And if you... Here, I'll just go ahead and show you. If an orb bot touches it, he'll bring it all the way back to where you first got it and then spin around it really annoyingly and you got to go back and get it again. Or I can... Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Well, that really cost me, didn't it? Hopefully I can do this with two stars. It's not that hard. It's just annoying. And then he'll open the way. You can't get through without giving those to him first. Uh, yeah, these things will carry them for you so you don't have to worry about it. But so, later on, you'll get some that'll, like, carry them backwards. So you gotta have to actually avoid them. And uh, these little fans will blow them up so you can climb ladders. But then you gotta sit here and wait on them forever. Let's hand that one off. Swing over these spikes. Alright, and we'll just make our way up these platforms. Come on, blow back up here. I don't have all day, let's go. Alright. Now, the bonus game here is annoying as hell to get to. Uh, oh, yeah. I usually miss that a couple times. I'm surprised I actually got it the first time. Now, let's see if I can actually pull this off. I used to have a good strategy for this, but it's... Uh, not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Just make yourself a little stepway here. And then you get up on this one and grab onto the ladder up here. Swing across and get the treasure. It's not that hard, really, I guess. It's just you, you gotta really know how to do it, because if you try to just force your way up there, you'll end up destroying all the treasure chests and not being able to... Oh, I need to go get the metro. Good, still here. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't put it all the way back at the start. Alright, gotta position that. Uh, that's not good enough. There we are. So you gotta grab it from over there. Throw it down. Alright. Some health refill. Awesome. Uh, there's, there's like a whole... Well, I, I guess I can point it out to you. There's like a whole little underground area down there that you're supposed to go through, but if you are fast enough, you can just go ahead and throw it. Oh god, that's like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Ooh, there we go. I always forget about that. See how annoying this stage is? I mean, seriously. Alright, these bird things piss me off. Yeah. Alright, we're almost there. It's got another one of these to do. It doesn't matter. You can, like, run into these bombs as much as you want. You just can't grab them. Oh, come on. There's a note. Annoying. And then you can't let the... This is like a little pressure switch, kind of like in Zelda, where you'd have to push a block on, but instead you just set the metronome on it. Oh, come on, we're at nine minutes. I'll have too much more time to fool around here. Here's one of these little underground areas you gotta go through. Uh, just more of the same. There we go. You can destroy those if you uh, run and do that, obviously, as you can see, while they're on the ground. And then it's really tempting to just jump out, but you gotta stay to the left so you don't get hit by those spikes. Alright, we're finally at the mid-boss here. And this is possible to, uh, kill- let me see if I can- There we go, kill one of those right off the bat, and then you only got two to deal with. Uh, it's random which ones actually come down. I think in either, like, the European or Japanese version or something, uh, they'll have little music notes over their head when they're about to come down. But, uh, they don't, obviously, in this version. And then after a while, they're just bobbing their heads and sending little orb bots after you. 
Uh, it's possible to kill them in like one round before the orb bots. Orb bots. Wow, I can't talk today. Before they start coming, but it's pretty hard to do. All right, just come on down. Stop bobbing your head. Let's go. Thank you. Awesome. And right at the time limit, too. Look at that. We're at almost ten and a half minutes. So let's uh, just go ahead and finish up this level. Oh, hurry up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. All right, so uh, next time we'll take on this next area here. So uh, thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you later. Bye.